With that being said, how can Congress best ensure the need of public safety are prioritized when developing national spectrum policy? Uh, there are a number of ways, Senator. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, uh, the investment of dollars in next generation 911 as a public interest value is, is one that we've highlighted today. Um, an emphasis on resiliency, and thank you for your leadership on the resiliency of communications networks. Um, uh, we need to continue to emphasize that so that uh, uh, during natural disasters and other emergency situations, uh, folks can trust that the, the networks will be available. But also uh, in, when we're talking about spectrum policy, uh, uh, the importance of, of uh, uh, setting the rules for prioritization on the network. We, we talked about the success of the CBRS uh, ban, which has uh, tiers of access prioritization, uh, but making sure that uh, emergency communications uh, and other public safety are, are prioritized, especially in, emerg in when those emergencies happen, uh, I think is, a, is an important priority. Now, as part of that, Mr. Lewis, um, outside of spending proceeds, your testimony pointed to something that caught my attention, mm -hmm. and that was with enhanced competition and incentive program that some folks will refer to as eChip. Now, the chair of the FCC, uh, Chair Rosenworcel, has highlighted how this program aims to promote greater competition and increase access to advanced wireless services in rural and tribal communities. Um, how can Congress expand on eChip to better promote competition? Senator, I think a, a simple mandate to... Uh... Uh, to extend the same concepts and values that we saw with the recent decision on ESIP at the FCC would, would go a long way. Um, you know, this is the idea of, of uh, partitioning off uh, spectrum, uh, 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 incentivizing licensed users to, or uh, licensed uh, uh, services to partition off uh, that spectrum so that uh, communities that don't have access can use it. Uh, when they're not using it. Uh, we've talked about build-out requirements and, and that can lead to partitioning or sharing opportunities. So uh, we just need to enshrine that in, further into uh, the rules on other spectrum bands.